What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Play Blank Dream. This is a, uh, at this time, a new RPG horror game that looks really, really good. Uh, I never played Witch's House because I see multiple playthroughs of it already, but this game's supposed to be kind of like it, and I bet it's got a really good story. So, as all RPG horror games, this has a the best ending, so we're going to do the best we can to get the best ending, and then if I don't get it, then we'll get it. Alright, let's get started. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd probably refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. And so I, Mishu Uz never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. Oh, wow. Where is this? What was I just... Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Ah, uh, yep, that reminds me of other games that do that. Okay, already it's... She hates her life, basically. The mirror shows no reflection. Hmm. Yet it showed a reflection again. Oh, now it does. Yeah, let's talk to myself. Hi, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories, right. Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now look into the eyes of your reflection. Okay. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Hmm. School bag rests on the desk. The girl took out a notebook from it. Oh, we don't get to see the picture. A small knife is in the desk drawer. It felt similar in the girl's hands. I've got the knife. Is there anything else? Nothing else. Familiar computer. Uh, the girl consciously put the power on, but stopped. Familiar address that a girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. <laughs> After finding that knife, I feel like I have to double check things. See if there's extra dialogue. Hmm. Closet is back black clothes with frills. The girl felt like she'd like that she'd to wear clothes like this. What's the deal with the, ooh, what's the deal with the knife? Why not try it out? Let's not. Keys, huh? It won't open. I'm supposed to find a key. Ah. Uh, no, don't do that. Trying to find other things to do in this room, though. Honestly, I'm not finding anything else in this room, so... Let's go ahead and do it, then. Oh, wow. Huh? The girl came too, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back. How did it feel, killing yourself in the mirror? What was 
Uh, what's with that look? You got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. You did? I drowned myself in the lake. See, only partial, but you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world, and then break them. All across the world are mirrors with their reflection. They reflect your memories. But if you... S and you see how to break them, right? You just finish yourself off in a mirror. Break the mirrors. You'll get back your memories. At the same time, grant your wish. Once you break all your mirrors, you'll have it all back. And can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? <laughs> don't even tell me what my wish was. Uh, don't just look. You have to break them. That's what's... Uh, that's what granting your wish entails. What's that, you ask? Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. Thanks. I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never even existed. Just as Mishiro... Uh, Regained a piece of her memory. She felt as if she lost something important. There's a door there. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's save there. Is there anything new in our inventory? No. Hmm. Apologize if I'm saying her name wrong. I'm not good at pronouncing Japanese names. Never have been. But so far, this is interesting. Where is this? Are you new here? Maybe? <laughs> I picked one heck of a moment to be here. <laughs> Suspect her of what? Who are you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? I bet you're really confused. I'm Yuzo. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everyone's like that at first. I do know my name. Oh, that's very polite. Wait, you do know your name? That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember mine. So we can go, like... We can be a jerk playthrough. Where is this? This is known as Mirror World. It seems to be a world of souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife. Maybe. I just found out my, myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes. Did you also kill yourself? Anyway. But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't exactly remember the wish. Do you have any ideas? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I do know my wish. I remember mine. You do remember your wish? And you know how to grant it? Hold up. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not even fair, even in death. Well, anyway... If you're going to walk around, be careful of evil spirits wandering around here. Because they're, they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know the uh, the type of content this game was going to have. And uh, so far, it's not bad. Definitely different. I don't know where to start in this place. Realm of Blood, bathe in it if you wished and go mad. Can we not? Can we not say we did? Hold on, I gotta check something. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, Realm of Love, now a warm dead illusion. So I guess... Let's just go to the first one that I kind of wandered to. Oh. The gold door. Silver door. We don't have a key, though. We have a knife. And we have to kill ourselves in each world in front of a mirror. Alright, well, let's... This door... That's a, it's a wooden door, but it's the bronze door. Okay, got it. I should check what this room is. Realm of greenery. Let that, let that meeting be a light of hope. 
These don't have any info on it. Okay. Hold on. One more check. Let me just check the store. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's just go ahead through the first door we're able to go through. Decorative shield on display. Decorative swords on display and some axes. Oh! I fastened the latch and took the fake axe. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what's happening. Something tried to end me right there. I think? Did I take damage? No, I don't think I did. Uh, axe for display. The blade is dented, not fit for use. Uh, I guess... Uh... <laughs> All right. Like I said, I, I feel like I missed out, but then again, it wasn't my intention to not play Witch's House. See, it's not like I don't trust everything that's happening, but I just want to explore. Wait, is that a... That's a waterfall. A dead tree. Uh, this is not for use. It's dented. Well, let's try it anyway. Yeah, we can't do it. That's nothing. Okay, so we have to come back for that. This is cool. Watch out for dark spirits. Cute. I guess. It's not coming at me. I hear things. Hmm. Fireplace. Weak flame. Uh, good thing you carefully did it. Fireplace quietly lights up the room. Hmm. Sure heard the fireplace go out. And the room was swallowed by darkness. Can I... Shit. Oh, is this... Am I... This is me using the... The lantern? What's that? Interesting. Well, I have to remember... Okay. This is fantastic. I feel like I shouldn't go near that bear. Just hope I don't... <laughs> or the room's gonna force me to confront it. Oh shit. I- Oh! Oh god, did you see that? Wait, what did I get? I got a lantern. What was the point of that? Whoops. I doubt. It would just set up in flames. I have a lantern, but is that all I needed? I guess that's all I needed. Yeah, there was something behind me. Whether that was the bear, an actual enemy, or just something to fuck with me. It's cool. Yeah, it's a decorative axe. There probably is going to be like a Resident Evil style puzzle where I have to put the axe where a real axe is. Well, let me just explore more up here so I know what's going on. Yeah. Great. I know there's a sprint <laughs> in case people are asking. I'm just kind of slow. Like... Fuck. The Watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? I sure hope so. What is that? Looks like a statue of a football player. Stone, stone statue quietly looms. But I need to... Alright. I took an axe. And... We'll put the decorative axe into the box. See? I didn't take anything. This is going to be cool. Yeah, pardon me for my constantly saving, but that's just how I play. Alright. Uh, I don't know why we're doing this, but we're going to cut this dead tree. Why 
firewood. Oh, that statue's gonna be pissed. Also, that tree was bleeding. Alright, well, I guess we have to go back in there and light the fireplace. Alright, wish me luck. I have no idea where I'm going. Was I supposed to remember? Shit. Like, memorizing this layout's not easy. Uh, what? I mean, it's too. This is weird. I need a bigger light source. I'm dead. I think. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Let's go see the bear. Or the bear's not gonna do anything. She placed the firewood by the tree and then lit it with the lantern's flame. Oh, okay. I was going to say, why would we go back and... I was thinking maybe you had to light up that fireplace so you don't piss off <laughs> the spirits or whatever. That's interesting. The tree was burnt to ashes. I feel pretty good about this. Now, where's that mirror? Quiet. Another save point, really? I'm expecting maybe one of these save points to be a fake save point. Yeah, let's look in. Or were we not supposed to look in? Oh no, we have to look at the memory. Okay. What's going on with her? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I could come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed, more or less. Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumor. Mirror Lake, a lake of a, in a desolate park, about a 20 minute train ride from home. There was an odd old rumor about it. It was said, Hey, nice weather, huh? You interrupted my inner thoughts. <laughs> Talking to you, no one else is here, is there? Who would you be? Oh, just passing high school student. But I noticed you were staring at the lake with that hollow look. There's always a chance, so I thought I should call you out to you. That's unnecessary. I'm going to jump in and, or anything. I'm not going to jump in or anything. That's good to hear. There's a strange rumor about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just see it being true to its name. Reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention. I'm Iyato Hin Hinohara. <laughs> I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to flirt. Why do you tell me your name? Are you flirting? I just said I'm not. Introductions are the first step to breaking down barriers. So what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> I'm just to say fuck it and just paint this lake anyway. So you actually did come to paint? You're a spiteful one, aren't you, huh? Did you think I was carrying this clumsy easel for show? Not really. Oh well. If you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. I bet 
absent-minded when I'm I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still it's lonely when no one's around. Any items which Monsieur has in the present, she does not have in the past, and thus cannot use. That's weird color for the writing. Right, okay, I get it. So what am I supposed to do here? Oh yeah, there's something about this game too, they're talking about hidden mirrors. Or something. Let's explore a little bit. Oh, we can go diagonal on this game. Okay, whatever. Um, it's a pretty park. Very cool art design. I haven't seen stuff like this. I have a bit of a connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. Hmm. Can I... Yato is focused on his painting and isn't looking at it, her. I think that's the only choice I can give. Or I can do. Hmm. And she just said she wasn't going to do it, too. I'm sure it'll be painful. Oh, right. Okay, I see. So, now, because in the first room, I was in front of the mirror it, that was on the dresser, and I thought when she said to end yourself in front of a mirror, I thought you meant literally in front of a mirror. I'm sure to, to come again standing before a mirror. Though she still felt lake water in her nose, her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yes. I met Iato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little more about myself. Just as Monsieur regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something something important. Again? <laughs> Stop losing things. A bronze key. Wonder what kind of door that works on. This, this game's interesting. <laughs> what was that? Was that the fucking Babadook? I don't even know what. Okay, let's let's get a better look at that thing. It's what? It was a tree with a. Gigantic mouth. Looks like the dead tree I chopped down. Super pissed. That was weird. That was hilarious. Ah, uh, we can get through that tree. <laughs> it's like something's trying to get my attention. Oh, Mishiro, over here. Come on. Ah. <sighs> This girl's too spunky for me. What's with this music? Look, look, it's amazing. It's another person. It's seriously rare for two souls to wander in such a short span of time. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What? Oh, forgive me. But looking at you makes something nag at me. Don't quite understand why. <laughs> What's with this music? Probably not acquainted or anything, right? Anyway, my name is Royo Toro. Probably. That's the name in this suit, so... It's not like I remembered it myself, so it feels strangely unreal. I'm Ishiro. Right. Nice to meet you. I was wondering the strange world for... Wandering the strange world for a bit before finding a zoo here. What's with it, really? Feels like some other dimension. Is this a world where souls with a wish end up? Can you remember your wish? Wish? I wonder. I probably don't. You can't remember anything exact, huh? Seems that way. Like a fog all over my memories. Well, yeah. I was like that at first. Monsieur is just special, I guess. How long were you here? I haven't really been counting. So all I can say is really, 
little while ago. I think it's been several years, maybe. So you died years ago? Probably long enough, <laughs> long enough ago that I've gotten used to this place and having no memory. The only time I got any sort of memory back was the time I found a mirror in my reflection. I've seen other mirrors around this world, but they showed me other people or nothing at all. Found a mirror in mine earlier. Oh, seriously? Wow, Monsieur, I've been look really uh, provoc. Uh, you've been really proactive while I'm not looking. If you keep it up and find more mirrors, you could try to look for our mirrors too. I don't think there's a coincidence that you seem different from other souls. Just while you're at it, if you have time. Okay. If I do find one of their mirrors, will it tell me it's theirs? Ah, uh, probably not. Remember you who you are bit by bit. Get your mem uh, get back our memories. Grant your our wish. What will happen to us deceased after that? Sure, it will be peace and go to heaven, right? I don't know. This place is weird. It's interesting, though. Alright, let's just head in here. <laughs>